A year ago, last Thursday, I was strolling in the zoo when I met a man who thought he knew the lot. He was laying down the law about the habits of baboons and the number of quills a porcupine has got. So I asked him, what's that creature there? He answered, oh, it's a helk. I might have gone on thinking that was true if the animal in question hadn't put that chap to shame and remarked, I hate a helk, I'm a gadu. I'm a gadu. I'm a gadu. The nicest work of nature in the zoo. I'm a gadu. How do you do? You really ought to know wahoo's wahoo. I'm a gnu, spelled G-N-U. I'm not a camel or a kangaroo. So let me introduce, I'm gnu, the man no moose. Oh, gnu, 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 I'm a gnu. lodgings down at Ruslington on sea whence I traveled on to Ashton under Lyme and the second night I stayed there I was wakened from a dream which I'll tell you all about some other time among the hunting trophies on the wall above my bed stuffed and mounted was a face I thought I knew a bison an okapi could it be a hearty beast then I seem to hear a voice. I'm a gnu. <laughs> I'm a gnu. A gnother gnu. I wish I could ganache my teeth at you. I'm a gnu. How do you do? You really ought to gnu. Wahoo's wahoo. I'm a gnu. Spell G N U. Call me bison or a copy, and I'll sue. Nor am I in the least like that dreadful hearty beast. Oh, gano, 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 I'm a gano. Gano, 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 I'm a gano. Gano, gano, gano.